father came down to visit yesterday. We were chatting about the plan. He's a welder from uh, a long time ago. He had the idea that we could take a hub and mount it into this assembly and weld it onto the walking beam and then we could uh, make it easy to mount the walking beam without an assembly because it has basically the ability to pivot and it's all sealed. So yeah, we're going to do that. So I'm going to cut two more of these. Uh, kids were out learning how to do the plasma, so it's a little cutting, but uh, it's all right. We'll cut two more. We need four per side, so we'll do one side. I'm going to cut two more of these, so uh, I'm going to video that. Upgraded to a GoPro today, so I'm testing that out. Hopefully it works. setting up we've got the pilot holes drilled and water now I'll drill the rest of the holes got a reduced shank 5 8 drill bit so I think I'll do it in stages the holes are half inch but again mostly us humans mistakes built these brackets to mount the hubs to pivot the walking beam. Uh, got the holes all drilled. They're 5 8 holes so the bolts are half inch so we have quite a bit of gap. So in case there's any out of roundness. 
over here I've kind of laid this all out I was a little bit concerned here you can see there's the walking beam there's the the, the hub used as a pivot and uh, just propped it all up got the this part just sitting on some blocks but these are at the right height <clears throat> there's the little sleeves over here and then uh, the pivot so I was really started thinking about this and I thought I wonder if these guides are gonna hit so I lined this all up and uh, you can see it looks like it's gonna clear there's a bit of gap there so I was looking at a little closer at these and don't think we need to have this part right here we could easily cut this down and then down like this to get rid of some excess material and then uh, yeah they're a little close to the tire but when you're looking at it like this you can see that it's quite a bit uh, this is tilted so the, the tires are tilted in I think it's gonna be not too bad so what I'm gonna do now is I guess I'll I'll cut these taper these off like this just to get rid of the excess material and make sure to give these lots of clearance and uh, then the next thing I'm gonna do is um, tack one of these together whole 20 inches center to center put this right in the middle tack that on um, drill some holes we can bolt these in and um, then we'll start looking at this mount on the walking beam I think I'm gonna do the same thing take a longer piece the walking beam is, is a piece of three inch uh, square tube so we could take probably a chunk of four inches and then just slide it over top and put a bolt through it again and uh, weld these down should work just fine so I'm gonna get working on that I'll uh, maybe record a little bit of it and uh, we'll fast forward it for YouTube oh and hopefully the audio works better I uh, put the open cover on the back noticed that the audio didn't work very good um, with the full cover on the GoPro so this uh, looks like okay got these things all finished up so as you can see the warm still still the same the holes are drilled and everything but yeah tapered or uh, flanged off like that <clears throat> so that uh, those cleats on the track as they go by they got lots of room no chance of getting caught there hopefully it doesn't catch on these either I don't think they will but so now I think what I'll do is a uh, take one and assemble it again like the way I had it and then tack it together and I'll uh, just pause this here and then I'll set that up and you can maybe I'll record the setup and everything well so it looks pretty good still not exactly the right height but you can see lots of clearance so should be no issues with catching on that maybe if the track slides this way it might but okay so working on the uh these brackets It'll bring the camera over and show you up close up. Yeah, so uh, you can see the flange here sits just fine. These are bolted on. Weld it on tacked for now just a couple spots I'm gonna let my children work on uh, doing the final welding if they have time or if they want to a good experience for them the uh, sticks out a quarter inch here we'll have the hub stick through uh, another half an inch so this should clear the three inch beam anyways gonna work on fabbing up uh, the other four of these or the three of these to make four for one side Gonna get working on that now. Okay, we've just finished tacking together all the brackets for the walking beam suspension. So we've got uh, four sets of them done here. A quarter inch sticking out, 
uh, 20 inches was the original center to center, but we went to 16 after we measured out the length and how it would sit with the machine. So basically we don't want the machine, the wheels would have stuck out a little bit far. So in this case, we're, we're back to about here. So anyways, we're going to spend the time now. Dan's going to weld them all up. Um, so make them solid and permanent and then we will probably work on the main beam next but I'll give you an update once we're on to the next thing.